Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. We are joining you from Portugal today. We are here showcasing one of the most sustainable raw materials in the world cork. We are going to be visiting a cork production facility. We are going to be checking out the beautiful cork forest, but we're going to start where it all began. Joining me first is CEO and President Antonio Amorin. Thank you so much for having us, not only to your beautiful country, but to your beautiful facility. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to come and visit us in Portugal. Now, I want to talk a little bit about your family history. You are fourth generation. Yes. That's incredible to me. Everything started 154 years ago by my great-grandfather producing cork stoppers for the port wine bottles produced locally here in the city of Porto. Mm -hmm. That's how the whole thing played out. I mean, the company has been growing ever since because on the second generation, three members went to Brazil setting up cork stopper facilities to supply the local industry. So our family started to export raw material to Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, enlarging the size and scale of the business everything yeah. went so well that in 1922 they have opened a much larger uh, cork production and uh, a few years later becoming the leading company in the world third generation normally kills the business here it has <laughs> boosted the business That's it has incredible. boosted the business to a level that uh, we thought unthinkable at the time but this is only due to the sheer determination of the third generation of the family and by the great outstanding product that is cork well, we love the fact that it is completely sustainable and it is so good for the environment. It is because uh, uh, cork is just the bark of a tree, it's the skin of a tree. In order to get the cork, you don't chop the tree down, mm -hmm. you just peel the bark off for the first time 25 years after the tree is planted and from then onwards every nine years. A cork tree can last up to 200 years mm -hmm. or even more. That was going to be my next question how old do the cork trees get uh, 150 180 200 years you will see some cork trees uh, in the harvesting season that started in spring now uh, that are these old still producing cork That's this incredible. is an oak tree that can produce an external layer of uh, uh, cork that can have different sizes wow. thicknesses and each of these lines yep. that's a growth ear for the cork oh, so cool. this yes so you can count how many growth ears you have on this uh, oh, that's uh, very plank. Neat. it's kind of like rings in a tree of course yeah and uh, this will will be at least nine years so and the, uh, it's sustainable because of what because the tree never stops capturing yeah. co2 day and night for 180 or 200 years you don't chop the tree down that's mm -hmm. very unique to forestry and for each ton of cork produced it captures 73 tons of co2 wow. which means that this is one of the most st uh, long uh, uh, um, uh, capturing materials yeah. that you have uh, on the planet Easily. never stops the carbon sink oh. and this is unique so incredible to the environment it can make virtually anything we're talking about flooring to cork stoppers we're gonna have so much more coming up we're gonna be visiting the factory we're gonna be checking out exactly how everything is made so don't go anywhere there's so much more coming up on morning live from Portugal welcome back to Portugal we are now in the Emmerine facilities where they do all the production for the cork flooring and I'm being joined by Pedro Silva who is here at the facilities. Thank yes. you for joining us. Thank you. What does the sustainability manager do here? Uh, we develop the new product compositions because uh, Amrin has uh, the sustainable uh, side that makes the product uh, more sustainable, achieving the goals of the customers and of course uh, because of this response, uh, social responsibility mm -hmm. we have to be uh, one of the global players that makes the products more sustainable for our environment mm -hmm. and for our uh, global uh, processes that we, 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 we have to achieve our goals regarding this. So uh, my task is to make the products more sustainable, mm -hmm. to uh, make products uh, 
be uh, and have recyclable and renewable right. raw materials. Well, everything in here is 100% yes. renewable, recyclable, and yes. reusable. It is yes. fascinating what you do with all the different products and what you don't use, how you break it down and make it into something completely different. And of course, this is our goal to eliminate all the plastics for our products. Yeah. We uh, perform lots of tests that uh, uh, make uh, these products reliable and sustainable. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we make all our cores of the products internally. So uh, we have uh, all our expertise and our research and development daily working They're for all in these, these goals. Yeah. Now talk to me a little bit about the digital printing process. Yeah. That is fairly new, but it is yeah. spectacular. Yes. Uh, we work on these uh, since some, uh, some years, uh, but this new technology of digital printing with digital embossing uh, in products makes our visuals and uh, more realistic and with textures mm -hmm. that makes the perfect size to customers uh, be uh, uh, pretty happy to mm -hmm. choose our products. Mm -hmm. And of course, this could be one of the most technological advance in this kind of area and uh, we are uh, in front of uh, all our competitors in sustainable and technological flooring uh, um, uh, areas. Yeah, so I mean, they can take a basic sheet of, you know, beautiful cork flooring and they can make it look like hardwood, you can make it look like stone, you stone, can make it look yes. like so many, many different varieties, many so many different colors. It really is spectacular what yeah. you guys are doing here. and piece of pork at, the t at a time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you thank for you talking too. to us today. Thank Coming up, we are going to be checking out the beautiful pork forest. You're not going to want to miss this. There is so much more coming up on Morning Live. But for now, I'm going to send things back inside the studio. Welcome back to Portugal. We are in the cork oak forest. And what these gentlemen are doing is harvesting a oak tree. I'm being joined by Carlos and Carlos this is such a skilled trade. Tell me a little bit about what these men are doing. Right now they are pilling out the bark which we call cork so it's a very very expertise. It requires lots of expertise to do so. It's probably the most well rewarded work in agriculture uh, and they have to have a, a very precise punch and they have to understand when the tree is able to leave the bark or not because mm -hmm. if the tree is not able to leave it you have, you have to, to, to stop you can't, it. You, you have to yeah, you stop can force it. You can force it. Yeah. When's the first time that you could harvest the tree? Well, um, How do you know? In average it's between 20 and 25 years old but the main condition that you have to fulfill is we, you must have a perimeter mm -hmm. of the trunk of, with 70 centimeters at the height of my chest, one meter and 30. Wow. If that condition is fulfilled, you can do the very first extraction and then you get what we call a virgin cork. Yes. Then you have to wait at least nine more years to get what we call secondary cork. Well, you can wait nine, 10, 11, 12, but in 12 years it starts to get a little bit darker, so mm -hmm. it decreases value. And, and when are we getting, what year do we have to wait till we get like a good wine you, 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 Yeah, those, very, those first extractions cannot be used to produce natural stoppers mm -hmm. because they don't have the mechanical properties. Mm -hmm. They are very irregular, they are still a little bit hard, they will start to smash. They cannot, they don't face so well the industrial process. So it's only from the third extraction forward that you can start to use what we call reproduction cork okay. to use it to natural stoppers. It just gets better and better with age then. And once you get it, it will never change. It'll so never change. To, to get to that third stage, you have to pass it by the two first ones. Certain standards, yeah. right? Yeah. Now these gentlemen that are, are working here, this is a trade that is passed down through generations. Yeah. No, so it, family to family. Family to family, it runs into family. In between friends, it's 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 nothing that you learn in school. And it's one of the highest paid? The most well rewarded probably in the world. And how much do these workers get? 150, 160 euros a day. A day, a but day. it's only for four months out of the year. Less than that, three Less months. Less than that. Three months. Three from, months. From the end of May till the middle of August. It depends on the weather conditions. Wow, well these gentlemen are doing such a remarkable job. We have seen them go through about four or five different trees here. It is a fast process, but it is a very difficult process. I've tried to punch the tree. I was horrible at that. I tried to peel off the bark. I was horrible at that too. Uh, but 
watching them do this is nothing short of remarkable. Thank you so much, okay. Carlos, for having us to the forest today. There's so much more coming up on Morning Live, visiting yet another factory. So make sure you stay with us in Portugal. Welcome back to Portugal. We have been so busy on this trip. We went to the showroom at Amorim. We also got a chance to take a look at the flooring factory. We saw where they made some cork stoppers. We went to the forest where we actually saw the trees being harvested. And now we are back at another factory and Gonzalez is joining me. And Gonzalez, this is more of a raw material factory. So after the forest, it comes here to do what? Yes, so after the forest, uh, normally the material is outside, drying and stabilizing for six months, eight months, uh, totally on the outside. Then it comes inside where we, we actually are today and the material is boiled uh, over there mm -hmm. and it gets flatter. Let's say the piece that you have now in your so hands, it it's, shrinks. It's, no, it's, it's taking out all the bending that it has from the trunk oh, of the yes. tree okay. and it becomes much more flat. From here, then, we can split which kind of material, depending on the quality, on the weight, density, let's say. Mm -hmm. Then we split in this factory what we are going to do with the raw material that has come from the forest. Okay. It can go for the cork stoppers, which is obviously the, the main business. It can be used in flooring. It can be used in cork composites, where we mix cork with other materials. It can go also for uh, insulation, uh, for our insulation units. Now, I know that the the cork manufacturing is a fairly new process to Canada. Tell me how you integrate it into the Canadian market. So in, in Canada, basically what we have, uh, we have changed our distribution uh, system, let's say. So okay. we were working in, in the flooring unit, which is what I, uh, I represent. Yeah. We were working with distributors before, and then we said, okay, the market is an important market, it can grow. So what we did was we built a business unit there. So we opened the company and we have set up a team to work the different retailers and the different wholesalers of mm -hmm. flooring. Mm -hmm. Because I have been to a flooring store, we talked about, of course, your flooring at yes. uh, Amarine, and we learned so much about how sustainable this raw material is and how uh, environmentally conscious and friendly it is, and I have a feeling um, this is only the beginning for cork. Oh, it, I, <laughs> definitely. This is uh, the baby step yeah. now because we have so much more to do. So if, and you are in Canada, so you know the legislation now in Vancouver mm -hmm. and Toronto about the embodied carbon, capping the embodied carbon. So having much more sustainable materials, better for your health, mm -hmm. with less, let's say, carbon footprint. And cork is all of that. You have seen from the forest, how we take care of the trees, how we are careful on, in taking the bark out <laughs> including it in our product. So all the sustainability comes from this unique raw material that you are just uh, holding on It's now. holding and it's so yeah. light and it's so neat and the smell, it's just delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you so much thank for you. having us, not only no, hosting thank you for us coming. in Portugal, but to have us to all of your wonderful sites. We have learned so much. I hope we brought so much information to our Canadian audience. It has been a real pleasure. Thank you very much for being here and to share the love and the passion that we also have for Cork, obviously. All of the information will be found on our website as well at chch.com.